Hey guys, so today I wanted to go over really quickly how you can uh, hide certain products from your Shopify site search. And so this is a really requested feature if you're doing something like split testing with multiple products on your store. Um, you'll want the product pages to actually work for the landing page, but you don't want your store to actually show two of the same product in its search bar. Um, and I've seen a lot of apps uh, that people will use to achieve this functionality. Uh, it's actually possible with just Shopify. You don't need an app. You don't even really need to know how to code. Um, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. So you can see here I'm on one of my test stores. Uh, if we go to the two products in question that we're, that we're using for this tutorial, you can see we have uh, these ultra deluxe monkey massages. So the only thing that's different about these two products, guys, is uh, this one we're charging $10 for, and this one we're charging a million for. And um, obviously this is a little bit uh, of an exaggeration of the way that split testing would usually work, but the method is effective, right? You have one variable on the entire page that's tweaked, and then you can see how many people convert on this, what's your conversion rate here versus what's your conversion rate here. Now the issue with this is uh, in our back end, these are actually registered as two different products, right? And because of that, when we go to the search bar here and someone s types monkey massages, right? Um, both of them pop up, right? And if we go to the search page, that'll be the same case, right? Both of these are popping up. Now, we don't want this, right? Because if our customers come to our store and they end up searching for this, they find these two products, they look at them, and both the products are the exact same, and then they're like, why Why is this one $10 and why is this one a million dollars, right? It's confusing and you're probably gonna lose sales there. So to fix this, what we wanna do is uh, we can use default, we can use Shopify without any apps, without any coding, but we need to talk to Shopify um, through, through the URL that we enter. There's no uh, sort of default button to click or anything like that to get to this, right? Um, so what we need to do is we need to basically enter this URL that I have here. And what you're gonna change with this is you're gonna change this monkey business dash biz. Uh, don't worry guys, I'll, I'll link this in the uh, description of the video. Um, you just wanna change this here to be your my Shopify URL. Otherwise you're gonna be trying to edit my uh, monkey business store. Otherwise you're gonna be trying to edit my store so uh, it's not gonna work. So really quickly, I just wanna break down this URL so it gives you guys an idea of what, what you're doing to your store. Um, so this, uh, you should all be familiar with, this part of the URL. This just takes you to the admin of your site. The slash bulk opens the bulk editor of your site. You may have seen that before if you were editing a ton of products. Um, this question mark uh, here, you're just telling the bulk editor that you, you wanna display and edit the following variables. So these are the variables that you're displaying and editing, this product uh, resource name, and you're editing uh, this, this metafields.seo.hidden uh, value. And this is, this is the key factor here. And this percent three a number, it just means that um, the value that precedes it is a number. So if I copy paste this, we can go to our bulk editor here and you can see it's pulled up all of our products in the first column, like we said it would back here. And then it has this hidden column. And right now these are all blank. Um, they default to being zero. And this hidden column is, is the key here. If, if this is a one, it's going to hide products from the search. If it's a zero, it's not, right? Uh, we can't really tell the difference between these products. We can fix that by just putting in the price here. We can see this one's the million dollar and this is the $10 Ultra Deluxe Monkey Massage. Now, whichever product you don't want in the search, right? You wanna put a one next to. So if I think, you know, I think we should keep the million dollar product in the search, right? I'm gonna put a one next to the one that's $10. And then I'm gonna save that. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to uh, my homepage and it might take a little bit to update. And if we go ahead and enter monkey massage here, you can see it'll only pop up with one. And if we go ahead and click enter, it's only popping up with one. If we search something like massage, it'll only pop up with the million dollar one. Uh, if you guys have issues with this, like if it doesn't seem like it's working, um, it, you know, the minute after you do it, that's two minutes after you do it, uh, you might have to clear your browser's cache or, or just um, do a hard refresh on the page, which can be like either command or control shift uh, and then R, and that should 
fix up the issues. If not, just wait for a little bit and refresh. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate it if you leave, leave a like and um, a comment. Uh, if, if you're having trouble with this, um, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Uh, the other thing I use the comment section for on these videos, guys, is to get new ideas for videos in, that I can make in the future. So if you have a feature that you want to see, you know, coded or, or you have a feature that, that you want to see how you can do it on Shopify, definitely leave that in the comments. Um, and the other thing, guys, is uh, right now I'm running a promo on my channel where um, I each week I'm giving out a free consultation to a, uh, a, a subscriber. On their site and so what I go over in that that hour it's about an hour long session is I'll look at I'll take a brief look at your site and I'll, I'll basically think about if, if I was put in charge of the site tomorrow what would be my like top three things I would do or what would be like the number one thing I'd work on with your site um, or your business or your brand or whatever so if that interests you guys uh, you have to be subscribed for to be eligible for that so uh, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys